Hi everyone and welcome back to one of our uh, Disney World series videos I guess, it's a bit of an extension video now that we're back home and all that kind of thing. So uh, we have put together a haul vlog yeah. uh, for you. So we had this whole conversation about I thought that we bought quite a lot and you said no we didn't, we didn't and we had a sofa in our room in our villa and towards the end of it it was just like a full sofa full of stuff so it kind of made sense just to show you everything we got because i feel like we've got quite a lot i feel yeah. like it's really nice as well i thought we ate all the stuff that we bought to be honest with you guys <laughs> in like i thought we just bought snacks so it turns out we did actually buy quite a bit of stuff we brought some snacks home as well didn't we We did so i uh, hope you like the video if you haven't watched the vlog series um should all be up by now I yeah i thought. reckon so this will probably be the last one probably the last one then if it's not all up there should be at least some of them up so catch them out and then they'll be keep coming on so um, where do you want to start? Do you want to start with the first things we got? I reckon so. So I actually made the very first purchase, which was the magic bag. Then I got bees. <laughs> I always wanted to get the pink one. I knew that from the very beginning, as soon as we started watching them, I went to get a pink one. So I didn't know what one I wanted. I'm pretty sure I wanted a white one, but I wasn't sure. The problem is I couldn't find just a plain white one. It wasn't until day end of day two, was it? Mm, I that, reckon so. That we found one in Hollywood Studios. So we looked around Magic Kingdom Hollywood, um, and that kind of thing. We just couldn't couldn't seem to find one that yeah. was all so um the only one that I could find that was white was the pizza planet one which was white with a red disc and it said pizza planet down here and I just wanted a, a plain white one yeah. so so I got mine on the very first day and then you got yours on day two so those are the very first things that we bought where did you get your one from I think it was from the Emporium and I think it was like 1999 because they have three bandings of them I think it's 19.99, 24.99, and 34.99 or yeah, something. There's quite a big jump up between them. Yeah. And um, like the specialty ones were 34.99 or whatever they were. So. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, and then annoyingly, Magic Band Plus come back the day that we come back. Sorry, started the day that we left. So the reason yours looks different to mine is because mine did actually have the grey one bit on the outside. Um, but because I'm um, a child size in America, you could actually take the grow bit off from inside to make a much smaller size. Otherwise, it would have been too big. So it made sense for me to do that because it was way more comfortable. Perfect. And that was the first thing that we bought. What was, what was next? I think she does spirit jerseys next. Yeah, let's move on to the spirit jersey section. So we didn't actually buy this until one of our last days, but we've actually got these in Disneyland Paris ones. So we've got the Disneyland Paris ones of the spirit jerseys. And now ones. we've now got the Disney World ones as well, which is cool. So we've got his and hers Disney World spirit jerseys, which I am going to put on right now. So, so they were seventy four ninety nine each plus tax, Oof. which I mean, when you're not in Disney, seems like quite a lot, but they are super comfortable. Yeah. And we've got, I think we've got like four or five now each, which is pretty cool. Yeah. And when when you're there, it's just sort of like it was like an impulse purchase, which yeah. seems mad for saying there's seventy odd dollars, but. Um, I saw it and was like, oh, I really want one. And then you was like, well, I want a match. So, yeah. So there we are. And the next one that I got, which I think was early doors of, of the holiday, I think it was day two, that I got I got the Monsters University one. Which we haven't seen that one before, have we? I hadn't seen it before. It's not like your traditional spirit jersey. It hasn't got Disney World written on it. It just says Monsters University. But it was, um, I saw it and I was like, yeah, I, 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 I need that. I want that one. So that was the other one that I got. And that was... Uh, it's still got the tag on it, actually, yeah. Uh, the tag doesn't say it, so it just says small. I think it was 74 99 I think they all are, aren't they? Yeah, I think so. I think they're all the same price. What was the next one that you got? And then I got this one. Because which you got love Mickey Waffles. Mickey Waffles. It's actually scented mm. as well. So it says Disney World on the back. Disney World on the back. Um, and it's really nice. It was just something a bit different um, because I've got the black and white one of Disneyland Paris and Disney World, and then I've got... a. Uh, black and copper one so to have one a bit of a different colour was really nice and I hadn't really seen it anywhere so I thought it was really cool. Yeah nice and they also did ears to match it. You didn't get the ears though did you? Yeah I didn't really, didn't really love the ears. So that is the spirit jerseys that we've got whilst was out there. Should we carry on with clothes? Yeah. I so didn't I didn't buy too many clothes out there. So I got this jumper. Yeah. Which so was from the world of Disney. So and oh. it was $40 I think. Something like that. Uh, $40 Annoying you they had it in the outlet didn't they as well. But it's slightly uh, different because I did get one similar from the outlet, which actually putting them next to each other isn't that similar. Oh, okay. Um, but realize. yeah, it's really nice. It's like a really thin jumper. Um, so I actually wore it, probably you'd have seen it on one of the other vlogs. Um, I just chucked it on in the evening and it was really super comfortable. And it was just light enough just to keep the, the cool air off. Um, 
but yeah, not too not too hot. So they're the clothes that we bought in Disney World. We'll move on to the section from like the world of no, not the world of Disney, outlets. Disney outlets and that kind of thing. And from the boathouse, Anastasia got me these lovely one-eyed penguin socks. Sorry, two-eyed penguin socks. Which there's, there's a bit of a running joke in my family that I love penguins. Um, I don't. Oh, all right. Do I don't hate penguins. All right, they're no better than, than any other any other animal. However, the socks are quite cute. To be fair, they've got little three D noses on them and stuff. Yeah, they were quite funny because when we we were waiting for our reservation in the boathouse in Disney Springs, and I saw them, and me and Nikki saw them, and then we were like, okay, Mark, go distract. Go distract Ryan for a bit. So he was like making really like weird conversation yeah, with you. Yeah, talk, talking to me about like proper random <laughs> stuff. And I was like, yeah, yeah, like cool. And then like turned around, you had a big grin on your face. So there we are. So the next section, should we do the toys that we got Gavin? So yeah. for those of you who don't know, you probably do know, uh, Gavin is our dog. Oh, clothes. I got some Mickey socks. Which you were going to wear. You probably put on about four or five different mornings and then took them off before you went. I just can't really pull off shin high white socks but white mickey socks i got those from the world of disney as well so gavin's toys what did we get him the first one we got him is toothless because he kind of looks a little bit like him and that was from universal studios that was wasn't yeah it? that was 17 dollars and, and he was super cute he's so soft we call gavi like toothless every now and then because he looks like because he's so like dark faced and stuff um we think they look really similar so we've got my toothless um the next one we got it was from disney springs which is a Starbucks Frenchie roast. So it's like a like a fr doggy style coffee toy. <laughs> it's got doggy decaf, canine blend, and two times sweet ingredients. But it, the fact that it said Frenchie roast, like it was a, and a little black French on it, it was a, a must purchase. Yeah, and I sweet. think it was quite, to be fair, I think for what it was, I think it was like 15, 16 dollars, which for a dog toy is quite a lot considering he doesn't like it, but. Because does. We, we got it for us more than him. Yeah, true. What's the next one we're him? We actually got him a pack of three balls, but I don't know where the other one is. So they've got Mickey's on oh, there. That's outside. Uh, and then in here, it's got loads of Mickey's on it. That like little Mickey camouflage print. And yeah, I like yeah, it. Yeah, they were $15 for all three of them. Um, and they're like squidgy and he loves balls. So we got these. So the last Disney themed toy that we got him or Universal themed was the Pixar ball. He has had this since we got home yesterday. Uh, so you can see he's put little teeth marks in it. However, it's awesome. Like, I love it. It's so bouncy. He has popped a little hole in it, but it does reinflate, which is good. Yeah. But it's probably one of my favourite things that we come back with. I kind of didn't want to give it to him, but we can't come home from America with a ball. There's a toy. Let's not forget. So. And that one was fourteen dollars. Fourteen dollars. We then raided Walmart, didn't we? We did. Some dog toys. We did. Random I don't, dog I don't toys. know why we got the ones that we did. Uh, they were all one dollar forty nine each. <laughs> Stop squeaking the toys. You'll wind him up. <laughs> so this is the first one that we got him, which is just a. I don't know. It's just a smiley face toy. Yeah. Squeaks. Um. We right. then got him an egg. I don't really know why it was cute, and he likes crinkly toys. Because he's an egg. And then my personal favourite toy that we got him, and probably the most random one, <laughs> but for some reason we decided that it'd be a good idea, was a fire hydrant. Which is like one of his favourite toys as well, $1, I think. One dollar forty nine. One dollar forty nine. It's squeaky. A little blue fire hydrant is the toy that he loves the most. Yeah. So, those are dog toys. Um, and we did also get him a little spirit jersey. And he looks so cute in his little spirit jersey, doesn't It's he? the 50th one, isn't it? So this one was $40. So what, what we actually wanted to get was the black one for him. However, we couldn't find it anywhere. So the only one that we could find was the 50th one. But when we take him for a walk, we can all be in our Walt Disney World spirit jerseys. That's cute. We're going to call some, aren't we? Like, tell me that's going to look cool. And we were a little bit worried because this one is a me a large. And we thought that it might be too small, but it actually fits in perfectly. So it's so. fair to know that a large size in America for dogs fits a medium to small size French bulldog. Yeah. So uh, the extra large, if you've got a bigger dog, certainly worth it. But gives yeah. you some sort of indication of, of how big that would be. Yeah. What do you want to do next? So another thing that we got, probably one of our first purchases Ooh. was... Oh, I didn't get that. I thought we had one of those each. No, we got one in total. We did. It's the... So this is really cool because, I mean, it's cool, but it's not cool. But it's kind of cool. Um, It's a foaming hand wash. And then as you pump it, it gives a Mickey shape. So we'll try and insert a video maybe on how it works. Well, yeah, we'll, we'll use it after this video. And if it works, the video will be there. Yeah. Right now. Sorry. And if it didn't work... <laughs> Well, look at that, that was a fun little little scene. Yeah, it was a fun, 
Fun, fun couple of seconds. Yeah. So yeah, uh, the 50th uh, anniversary pumpy squatty head thingy. How much was this? Was this like 15 20 dollars? 15 $20, I think. It was it was more than what it should be for some soap. However, yeah. it pumps out of Mickey's head, so you know. What, if it works, then it's What space. can you do? What's next? Um, do should we do these? Yeah, so we've got a couple of photo frames uh, whilst we're out there. So that one was from... This was actually from the Christmas shop. Was it? Yeah, so we weren't in there thinking it'd be funny to go into a Christmas shop when it was 30 degrees outside. We came across this frame, which we thought was really cute because it's got loads of Mickey heads all around the outside of it. Yeah, I like um, it. So we really like that. And then we've got, I think between us, we took over 3,000 photos. Slash videos. Slash videos. So um, we thought that it'd be nice to get just a couple of frames and stuff. Um, yeah. We've got a... Um, is it the adventure is out there or something? Adventure yeah, book. Yeah, the adventure is um, out there, like the one from up. We've got that book. So we're gonna try and create like a little scrapbook and put some other pictures in there and stuff, which I think would be super cute. So that was thirty dollars. That was what twenty nine ninety nine. Yeah, um, I think it's really cute. Do we buy another photo frame as well, or is that the only one there? Oh, there. There we go. So this one was from Epcot. Well, this was where we first saw it was Epcot. Mm. Um, I wonder if I can take it out of the box so I can show it a little bit better. One set. So this was $25? Uh, $24.99, yeah, let's do that. So. It, hey, it's cute, I didn't realise it had. I don't know if you can see that. So the photo goes in the middle, but it's got like a bit of a world pattern on it. And then uh, it's got, it's like Mickey ears, but it's the world because it's Epcot. And there's a, like a little Disney logo in there as well. And I don't know if you can see it. There's a, a Mickey Mouse sort of silhouette. I mean, hey, I, I didn't notice that I don't before. know if you can make it so you can see it. I have no idea, but there is a, I mean, I have no idea where to put it. Yeah, I mean, you can sort of see it. There's the head, and yeah. then you go down, there's the feet and stuff. There's a little, little hidden Mickey in there as well, which is cool. Yeah, so. I didn't actually notice that before, did you? Yeah. Oh, oh I thought you didn't know that. No. So, yeah, so we've got a little, little hidden Mickey in it as well, which we like. We went to Disney Springs one day, and we finally made it. So it was date night, wasn't it, that we went, because we went to Maury Motivation as well? Yeah, so the two of us, so the, the two couples split up for the night. Um, we went to Morimoto Asia and they went to Wine Bar George, we had a little date night. But the main attraction for that evening was... Gideon's! We so made this is one of the things I was most excited for, for Gideon's, because they're cookies, they do pound cookies, like pound in weight cookies. And the queue's always really long, they always sell out and things like that, so we were really excited to go. We probably waited about 15, 10, 15 minutes in the queue. 15, 20 I reckon. Yeah. Um, um, it wasn't too, too long of a queue, but the cookies, oh my god. They were so good. The the coffee, the cookies, it was so, so, so good. And what else did we buy? We bought, because if you know us, we just love them. A candle! Can so, I smell it again? Yeah. Oh, it what does like... it smell like? It smells like, it says coffee cake cookie candle. It's pretty weird. And I feel like that's pretty accurate. It's it's the smell as you walk in there, isn't it? Yeah, it smells so good. So, Ooh. how much was it? Can you remember? hungry. I think it was something like $26 for this candle. Yeah, but it smells... It smells amazing. So good. We'll light that later. Yeah. Right up there. I like it. I'm very excited. We almost didn't get it, but I thought it would be a really nice memory of it. I'm glad we did. But you can also buy like t-shirts and key rings and all that kind of stuff in there, but we sort, sort of settled for a candle. Um, but yeah, I really like it. Uh, and also, I forgot to mention, in the Gabby toy section, we got my little dog collar as well. I left that oh, one out. Bow. And that one was six ninety nine. 6 .99. So he's got a little dog bow that he's never going to wear. He will wear it, I'll put it on him. So should we do Bath and Body Works next? Yeah, so we went to the outlets one day that, um, when was it? Was it after, it was it just after Volcano Bay? Or was it the other, the other So time? we actually went to Bath and Body Works on just one morning, I mean, you just went off for yeah. the day. Because uh, that was in the, uh, in the mall, wasn't it? I can't remember where it was. No, it was at the outlets. Yeah. It was at the outlets, but um, there was one at the mall at Millennia, Millennia as well. So uh, a couple of bits that we got. So uh, I got two moisturizing cream so i've got the bourbon one which i've been using sort of since we bought it and then i've not used this one yet this is the confident one um, they both smell amazing don't they both smell really really good we went we went in there like not expecting to like everything because you know if you go into lush you can like smell too many things and it makes you really like dizzy whereas this didn't everything that you smell just smelled so amazing we just wanted to take all of it home smells so good and then i've got two bath uh like washes as well so i've been using the noir one um, it makes your hair feel so soft, it's amazing. And then I've got the Confident um, body wash to match the uh, the moisturiser for those days that you need it. And then I've got two um, hand sanitizers. So I've got a white t-shirt, just smelled nice. And then in the stars, because I'm a star. 
yeah, we got five of those, didn't we? We have five for eight dollars. Um, in terms of those ones, we've also got a clear waters one, I think, which mm. smells amazing. But we like use that last one as well, And we've also got a thousand wishes one, which smells really nice. And then a honeysuckle and peach fizz one as well, which smells really good too. Do they smell really, really nice? Um, and, then, and then whilst I was there, the one that I've been using is white tea and sage. This one smells amazing. It smells so clean and it's probably my favourite one, but I don't want it to go. Don't run out of it. And then I've also got, it's also far away, a honeysuckle and peach one, a big one. And then also a thousand wishes. But you got hand sanitizer Yeah, for? so they kind of match, which I thought was quite cool. And then I also got, I've been using this one, it's a moisturiser, which smells really like summery. It kind of reminds me of warm days, which I need because it's like our first full day back and it's been raining all day. So take me back to 30 degrees, please, because it's not very nice here. And then as part of the gift that we got from my mum, but we lost this in the suitcase, is a fragrance mist of the peach one as well. So it smells really nice and it's just something a bit different. And then finally, we've got some hand soap as well. So it's gel hand wash and it smells really, really, really good. Okay, I actually can't smell it. remember what it smells like, can you? Oh, oh that does smell good. It smells so good. So with all these hand washes, I've no, no idea where to put them. Thankfully, we have three bathrooms. Yeah, and a kitchen. And a kitchen. <laughs> so uh, the next thing we should move on to should be maybe the free crap that we got. Yeah, I don't know if you'd call it crap. <laughs> the free stuff that we've got. So uh, we've got the Happily Ever After badges because we're there for our five year. Yeah, mine's uh, still on my bag. I think I've still got one on my bag as well. Yeah. We've got a wishing star from when we went to Cinderella's Royal Table. They told you to make a wish of it. I did. Uh, and then because we was um, because we donated a dollar each to the Animal Kingdom fund, we also got another cool, cool, cool badge on there. One of my favourite rides actually at Animal Kingdom was the Safari because they've got a like an animal sanctuary area there, and it's the entire size of Magic Kingdom, which is really, really, really big. Um, so it was just really nice to see lots of animals being taken care of and things like that. And they were telling us that they were like rehabilitating them and making them more in the wild or making more of them and yeah. then putting them back into wild and things like that. So they're kind of repopulating the earth of certain animals, which I thought was really nice. Yeah. And then you got a couple of coins as well, didn't you? So we've got the yeah. Hey Hey coin. And what's that one? This is just a 50th one. Is it anything on the other side? No, just Mickey's face. It's got the Polynesian Village Resort on it. So we did want to collect these. However, we we only found like one place that did them, and then yeah. all the other places were mostly sold out. So unfortunately, we couldn't really collect no. them. But I wanted to. And then I also bought this grape soda badge as well to put on my work bag. But I'm not really sure. But I might put it inside my work bag just because uh, the outside of it's like a leather uh, yeah. effect, isn't it? And then should we do outlet stuff next? Yep. So let's move on to the bits that we've got from the outlet. I didn't get too much from there, I think. Okay. So there's actually a cosmetic shop there. Um, I think we have them in the UK as well. And I got two lots of this foundation, which is the Smashbox full coverage one. These ones are $38 each, um, but I actually got two of these, some MAC makeup wipes and a Clinique eyebrow pencil for $27, yes. which I thought was really, really good. You made like a huge saving, didn't yeah. you, on what you, what you purchased? And like for some reason, they just gave us an extra 10% off just for no reason. Just because that's what they do at the outlets. Yeah, it, really? so it was really cool. Like, I got a couple, I'm glad I stocked up and just got some makeup, really. Nice, what else you get? So we went to the character outlet, I think, yeah. I only got one thing from the character outlet, which you got as well. Yeah, I got two. Oh, I did get two things, that's cool. So the first thing that we got was these ears, which I thought we could save for Disneyland Paris, to be honest. They're usually $33, but I paid eight for them. And, they're so heavy and I, I should have probably tried them on before I put them before I bought them but I thought when we go to Disneyland Paris in the winter time <laughs> so smooth they light up they do light up which and is they're very so cool. tight but it's fine they'll be alright for the evening yeah. during the fireworks won't they I just got them for the fireworks so I thought I'd light up and be cute yeah I like that and then also to light up we got we both got these put these go around your neck for like the like Andy's Christmas lights, if that makes sense, from, from Toy Story Land. Yeah, they were two ninety nine each, and I wonder if it's still coming up for them. They just say orange. Oh, I don't know what orange price is, but two ninety nine each. So I thought they were really good. And then I got this jumper, uh, which is similar to the other one that I bought. Which is the one that I thought you did, that we saw that was similar. Yeah, and this one, I paid twelve ninety nine for it, and it should have been $40. So I thought that was cute. 
And then this one was twelve ninety nine, but it should have been four dollars. It's like a long sleeve, green Walt Disney World top. There's nothing on the back of it. It just says Walt Disney World down one of the sleeves. Let me see if I can, like that. So I use that uh, in the gym really, or in anything, which is cool. And then, again, a bit of an impulse buy. Let's see if I can open it. You reckon an impulse purchase? I reckon it was probably an impulse purchase. Was some Disney dog socks, so and it got... says I heart my. Disney dog, so I don't even know if they fit. Um, they should have been twenty four ninety nine, and I paid like four ninety nine for them. I think it was less than that, wasn't it? I think it was yeah, two ninety nine. But I just thought they were quite cute, and I don't know if when or if I'm ever gonna wear them. But I thought they were cute, and I kind of got caught up in the moment. So what else you get? You got oh, uh, it's from the actual outlets, aren't they? So yeah, and then from the other outlets, um, I just got this Calvin Klein jumper, which I thought was cute. It was more so just for the evening. Um, just some cozy with some leggings or something that would be nice. And it was, oh, it's usually seventy nine fifty, and I paid like nineteen ninety nine for it. So it I just cheaper. thought it was just really nice and soft inside, uh, and just over some leggings and stuff would be quite nice. So then I got uh, a couple of Vulcan tops. So I got this plain white one, um, which is just a plain white round neck top. Really, to be honest with you, it should have been twenty seven fifty. Uh, and I think I got two for twenty dollars, did yeah. I? Which was the deal. So I got that one first of all, which is the plain white one. And then I really wanted a Florida top, but not a horrific Florida top. So uh, when I was in Vulcan, they had this one, which says Florida, Florida, sorry, Vulcan, Florida on it as well. And that part of the two for twenty dollars. So I got that top as well, and that one should have been uh, twenty five dollars. That one should have been so two tops that should have been fifty dollars between the two. We paid twenty dollars for them. Yeah, it's pretty good, isn't it? And then on one of our last days, we went to Discovery Cove. So we got uh, we got a pack. So we did the dolphin swim, which was amazing. That was so soft and squishy. Um, and then we did stingray swims and stuff like that after. Um, but as part of the photo package, it was one hundred and sixty nine dollars mm. plus tax. I think it's one hundred eighty two or something in total. And we got to take home eight pictures, this photo frame, and a photo album as well didn't we so yeah so the photo album which holds the other seven photos yeah. so and then it's got a couple of like additional pictures inside of it as well yeah so, so we've got them in already really cute which is good yeah i thought it was actually really good value for money really if i'm honest with you so you could have just bought six or was it four prints uh, four prints for a hundred dollars so it kind of made sense just to pay a little bit extra and get yeah it was nice that we could print. have a couple ones of us and that kind of thing yeah so they can now live out now that we've shown you guys them and then probably one of my favourite purchases. Oh, yeah, nice. This was amazing. So this was a last day purchase as well. So we've got some Disney artwork, which is drawn by Caitlin, who we actually saw drawing artwork a couple of days before when we went in there. Um, it was, how much was it? It was $49. $49. So uh, as far as Disney artwork goes, it's quite cheap. We're not sure where it's going to go yet. I'm sure we'll find somewhere for it quite quickly. We need to get a frame. But uh, we went in there on one of the couple of times really when we went to Disney Springs, we went in there because we were desperately wanting to try and find a sketch one, but they're all characters that we didn't necessarily love, weren't they? There was yeah. like Mulan sketches and I don't know, like yeah. the frog from Princess and the Frog. They're all like really random characters, but because we went in there pretty much as the store opened on our last day, because it was there really early, uh, they had a Mickey Mouse one and I, I can only assume there was only one Mickey Mouse one. I assume that they yeah. go super, super quick. So by the time we've been going there in the evenings, we're always left with the characters that no one really wanted. So, um, yeah, like I said, it just worked out really nice. It wasn't even going to yeah. go in there, was it? It was just no. that we were waiting for our friends, so we, we nipped in there and left with that, which is good. Yeah, which is really nice. On that same day, we also went to the Disney uh, Goofy food place, and we got the 50th anniversary taffy. We got both these for our colleagues at work yeah. just to leave open. We did get some more sweets. We got some other stuff as well, and we got some like sweets and stuff for my mum because she looked after Gav while we were away, um, but we don't have those anymore because yeah. she's probably eating them by now. What else have we got? Is it just this last bag? I think it's just that last bag. No? We're on to the last bag. We did, oh, God, heavy as well. Where the food in? is. So uh, we went to Epcot, and you'll probably see from our vlogs, if you've watched them, if it's even out yet at this point, it should be. Um, we bought, I wanted to buy something from the Japan Pavilion that had no English, you know, so like it was just a complete guess as to what it was. Um, they're kind of like, how would you describe them? Should we try another one? I don't want to try another one. It's, like, it's kind of like rice crackers and they taste a bit like curry. Yeah, they're like curry flavoured flat, uh, flat, flapjacks. 
Snack Snacker Jacks. Jacks. Snacker Jacks. So like curry flavored uh, Snacker Jacks. So they were six forty nine. Six forty nine, and I'm sure that we massively overpaid for them. However, um, we just wanted to try something that we had absolutely yeah. no idea what it was. So that's what we got. Um, they're pretty terrible, if I'm honest with you. We didn't love them. Well. They're dry and they don't really taste that much. But we wanted to wanted to risk it. Other than that, everything else kind of had some sort of English on it, didn't it? Yeah. So we wanted it just to be a complete like. Who knows what it is? Who knows? What's next in our goodie bag? Ooh. <laughs> so I don't really know. Every haul vlog's got these on them, haven't they? Yeah, it was. You, it, this is a prime example of getting caught up in the moment. Um, we paid six dollars each for them. Did we really? Yeah. Jeez, we, were, we didn't even drink it. Well, that's the worst thing. Yeah. Um, I love the fact that we bought this back. Are you gonna drink it now? No. Absolutely not. It's about three weeks old. Um, so we've got the Diet Coke and the Main Coke. However, to be fair, they do look yeah. they do look pretty cool. Where they're going to live is probably to be decided. Some sort of cupboard or something like that. Yeah. I can't imagine they're going to display, but they are pretty cool. To yeah, they're fair. pretty cool. They were from Galaxy's Edge, weren't they? So. What else we got? Rinses. When we went to... Was what? that when we went to Walmart? Was it the first? Or was it when we went to Target on the first day? I think day? it was just Target. I have no idea how much it was, though. So each two pieces, which is like this amount... It's 140 calories, so we won't be looking at that when we eat it. Maybe but we should be trying that one. Though. Should we try it? Yes! I'm so hungry. Are you? Yeah. You should have said. I did suggest we had dinner before we filmed this vlog, but here we are. It's kind of melted. Yeah, yeah. Mm. Mm. That's really good. We know we know we like Reese's though, don't we? Mm. We, um, we did actually get some Reese's cereal bar cereal while we're out there, didn't we? Oh, what do we want? Yeah, I'm going to eat it. We did get some Reese's cereal while we were out there, um, which is actually really nice, to be fair. Weirdly enough, I didn't think we'd eat much at the villa, mm. but we did end up having like cereal and toast a couple of days that we were mm. there. I ate like, half the bottle of cereal, pack of cereal, I think, Yeah. which is good. What else we got? Oh, we haven't tried these yet. Mm. Frosted S'mores Pop Tarts. And the only reason we got them is because you can get them in the UK. Yeah, and I'm sure, dessert, can't we? I'm sure someone will comment and say, you know, you can get those from B&M or something like that. However, oh, they're 370 calories per serving. It's not too bad, really, considering uh, what they are. That's not too bad. We'll try them after we have dinner tonight. Mm. And um, I'm sure they'll be absolutely delicious. I like Pop Tarts, they're addictive. Yeah. What else we got? More Reese's. More Reese's. We, re we really like peanut butter, by the way. Talking of peanut butter, we also got some peanut butter, didn't we? We did. Skippy, but it turns out you can actually get it in the UK, so. It's not that exciting. But yeah, Skippy peanut butter. Really, really tasty peanut butter, actually. Oh, they made it into a cake, that. Oh, I don't like it. They put it into a cake, that sounds really good. I might do that on Sunday. Yeah? Actually, I'll make it on Sunday. Who knows? Um, but yeah, we really like Reese's and they're a little snack, so we thought they'd be nice. I'm surprised you won't open them, actually. But it is a pound, so this is the same weight as our cookie was. Isn't the cookies half a pound, or are they one pound cookies? There might be a pound cookie. I'm though. sure they're a whole pound. Which is crazy, but it's still tasty. Oh, yeah, that was from the cheesecake factory. Hey, look, it's our cereal. That's funny. Yeah. <laughs> Ta da! We did that on purpose. Uh, what's this? These are peach loops, so I put them in the bag because they're a sugary one. But I really like peach loops, and you can't really find them in the UK, so. You got American peach loops, don't yeah. you? Yeah, really good. Pretty sure really Randomly, Crest Toothpaste. I don't know if you can get this one here in the UK, but it literally, in the two weeks that we were using it, felt like it made our teeth so much whiter, didn't it? Yeah. So, um, I wish and we bought a clean. lot more of it. Oh, I gave it the best clean. So yeah. while you're out there, don't bother taking toothpaste. Although it was quite expensive. How much was it? Was it five or six dollars? Five or six dollars. So it is more expensive than taking your own toothpaste. However, genuinely probably one of the best toothpastes uh, I've ever used. I've got some really exciting things. <laughs> Chocolate and toothpaste. Is this our last one? I think so. Our last item. Oh no, there is something else now, don't we? Oh yeah. Oh, how exciting. <laughs> so also... From the Japan Pavilion. They kind of melted. We got these. I don't really know why. Again, we just sort of caught up in the moment. 2.49. They were by the till, weren't they, I think? And yeah, I thought they were the kind top. of cute. I, th I was expecting us to just eat them whilst there. Um, but I don't want them after eating the thingies. So maybe we'll have them at the, another time. But... That's so cute. And then the last thing that we have is Main Street popcorn, which we're going to eat whilst we edit this vlog. How exciting. Yay, so these of us so good. 
We love popcorn, don't we? We do love popcorn. So watching the fireworks with popcorn is amazing. They had lots of different flavours. They had cookies and cream flavour. They Churros. had churro flavour, blue flavour, loads and loads of random flavours. We stuck with the caramel flavour just because we kind of knew what it was. Yeah. Um, but that is the last thing that and we that purchased. And that was £5.99. £5.99. From so, Goofy's Candy Coat. From Goofy's Candy Coat, indeed. I think that's everything. I, think I can't so. see anything else. There's some other free bits in here. So we got this for Cinderella's Royal Table. Uh, we did actually buy this bag. Yeah. Was out there as well. So mobile order is definitely the best thing that you can do because so some of the queues get really long. And then whilst we're in Discovery Code, we also purchased a phone bag. So you can see all of our Yeah, one comfort. thing we would say though is that was $34.99 from Discovery Code, but you could buy them for like $5 from yeah, Walmart. From so te- definitely even from Amazon. Yeah, prepare in advance because we, we weren't sure where we were going to get them. Get one because it was quite a lot of money, but then we decided that with the photos and the videos that we could get from underwater, with that case was so much better than... Yeah, them $35 off the value. Um, yeah. But yeah, that's everything from our whole vlog. Sorry, it's a bit all over the place. We yeah. don't really know what order to put it all in. No. We just want to show everything that we've got so that when you go, you can go, yep, yeah, I want to get that. No, I want to avoid that. Or I didn't realise that cost as much as that. Or I didn't realise that it was as cheap as that. Um, I think that's everything, isn't it? I think so. Yeah. There's quite a lot of stuff. No, it's all over us before. There's a lot of stuff all over our living room, so we're going to pack it all up, let the dog back into the house. Uh, but yeah, I hope you like the vlogs. Uh, I hope you like the, the whole video. And if you haven't watched the vlog series, I promise you it's not very good, but it's, well, it's worth watching. We like it. <laughs> and uh, if you enjoy it, give us a thumbs up, like and subscribe. And where's next for us? I think we're going to go to Rome next. Um, uh, in July. July is technically booked. Whether we can get the time off or not, we don't know yet. I've already got the time off with you. I think we've already booked it off. Oh, then looks like we're probably going to Rome in July, so we'll do another vlog series for that. I think we're doing that for our anniversary, I think. Yeah, five years. I better make sure that I've got it off then, don't I? I think you've already got it off. So, yeah, so this day was when we went to Boathouse and we kept the little ducks. We did keep the little ducks, little bobs. Um, and we'll probably do another sit down video at some point talking about sort of our favourite rides or what we recommend or things that we learned whilst we was out there, that kind of thing. Mm. Um, if you have any suggestions on what we can do, drop it in the comments below and we'll get it done. But other than that, enjoy the rest of your day and we will see you real soon.